Hello and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. I'm Deepthi Bhaskaran and today I'm going to tell you some basic Excel calculations that will help you make sense of your investments. How many times has an agent told you that the person will double your money? You would think that you're bringing home a rate of return of 100%, right? Wrong. And the Excel will tell you why. Let's get cracking. Our first calculation is to calculate the rate of return and for this we would need the amount that you have invested. Please note, I have indicated this amount with a negative value because it's an outflow. The time period which is 10 and the amount that you get at the end of 10 years. Now in order to calculate the rate, we go to the function, go to the financial tools and click on rate. Here you go. NPR is the time which is 10, PV is the present value which is a lag and FV it's just the future value which is the amount of money that you will get at the end of 10 years. Here you go and type is whether the investments are made in the beginning or at the end of, of a year. One is to indicate that the investments were made in the beginning and you press OK and the return is 7.18%. No, so it's not a 100% return, it's a 7% return. This is because when the agent is promising to double your money, the agent is not looking at the time, which is what the Excel calculates for you. Now, this is a calculation that talks about a lump sum investment. What if you were making a recurring investment? Here, I've already keyed in the data so that it's easier for us to calculate. Your annual payment in this case is about a lakh. Please understand that I have put a negative sign here to indicate a cash outflow. Time period is 10 years. Future value is about 15 lakh. What do we do? We go back to the function. Again, we select rate and we begin to key in the data. NPR is 10. Instead of a PV, which is a present value, which also indicates a lump sum, we go to PMT, which is the periodic payment. We select this. Future value is 15 lakh. Type, again, I'm pressing one to indicate investments made in the beginning. And here you go, the return is 7%. So today you have learned how to calculate the rate of return on your investments. Come back again for the next episode in which we will learn how to calculate the future value or the amount that you would accumulate once you have a handle on how much you're willing to invest at what rate. That's all. Thank you. Have a good day.